Hello friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. You don't recognize my shop? Well, we are just behind this wall. That's where we are filming normally. But today we have something so special and exclusive for Toyota owners that we will film it in our landlord's chat's shop. Here he is and he wants to share something pretty incredible for you on the taco. Here's the taco and this is why it came to his shop. Well, we have a 2012 Tacoma with a 274 cylinder in it and mm -hmm. it came in with a misfire and a check engine light on. And, and you said this misfire happened on yeah, what only conditions? Only on startup. Okay. Um, it would flash the check engine light and run for for a little while. Mm -hmm. So has 115,000 miles on it. And that's a shocker and that's why we want to yeah, show it to everybody because the car or the truck looks basically absolutely spotless yeah. and super low miles. Yeah. So we went ahead and pulled the plugs and took a look at everything. Uh, the plugs looked okay. The coils looked okay. Mm -hmm. So these do have cooling system issues at times. So we pressure tested the cooling system. Okay, I will show how you have it set up right we here. We have it set up here, pressure testing the mm -hmm. radiator. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, we did have a code for a cylinder number one misfire. Uh -huh. So we put a camera down in there and we can actually physically see with pressure the coolant leaking into the cylinder. You can see the drop that falls right there. Yep, yeah, it's on the kind of top you can see the layer, one third of the screen is the layer of the head gasket. Yeah. And we will see, what is it, one drip, uh, what, 20 seconds? Yeah, it's getting ready to do it right now. You can see the it building up there on the edge. Yeah, I will keep showing it. We don't know if the camera will be able to show it, but it's fine. And there goes the drip. Oh, yeah, everybody saw it. Right there. So, Here is our master. Um, <laughs> So at this point, the cylinder head needs to come off and, and have a cylinder head gasket replacement done. Yep. And check for cracks or anything else. And that will take how long? I will not ask how much it will be, oh, but how long it will take I haven't, you to know give what? an idea, people, how much? Probably six to eight hours would be my guess. I haven't looked at the labor guide. So quick. Yeah, uh, I, I'd have to, like I said, I've looked at the labor guide. We haven't had one of these. This mm -hmm. is, typically we don't have the four cylinders and the four wheel mm -hmm. drives in here. So let's say it this way, if the customer decides to leave it here, to order parts, to prepare the job, what they are looking at, like one week it will stay here? Probably or? a week to a week and a half. It mm -hmm. really depends on parts availability, the way things are, and then machine shop time, etc. Oh yeah, perfect. Yep. So you are saying there will be new head gasket and the head must be refinished in the machine shop, correct? Yes, the head must be resurfaced and we'll have the machine shop that we work with health check the head mm -hmm. and make sure that the valves and everything else look good while we have it off. That's perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much for letting us film it yeah. and share this pretty shocking experience with very low mileage for cylinder. I'm sure you will all guys appreciate to see it live how that droplet of the coolant was building and seriously, within half minute, because the engine is cold, it created the drop and poop, and it went in that cylinder. Now, why it showed only on the cold starts and not when the engine is driving, when they erase the coats and the engine was warm, it will be not showing any coats. Well, it's because the material expansion when the engine is hot, the the, the head and the, the bottom of the engine, everything warms up and a kind of it's bigger even in that very small limited expansion and therefore the leak will stop, there will be no misfires. So it's just explanation why it was only on the cold starts. So I hope you enjoy that. If you like it, give it a thumb up and we will keep posting more videos for you soon. See you later.